to the module 33 of week 13. The focus of this week is on digital forensic investigation methods. In this module, we are going to discuss the details of conducting digital forensic investigation. First, let us see what is the necessity for considering the digital and forensic evidences during the cybercrime investigation process. Computers are generally used as tools for committing crime, but due to the rapid developments in digital forensics, computers can also be used to get rid of cyber crimes any information that is stored or transmitted in binary form that is basically a zero or one is referred to as the digital form and the evidence collected subsequently in this form is known as the digital evidence the law enforcement agency incorporates the collection and analysis of digital evidences to fight against electronic crimes the challenge here is to train the officers to collect the digital evidences and keep up with rapidly evolving digital technologies. Now let's focus on digital forensic investigation. Computer related crimes are on the increase today. We call it as cyber crimes and therefore corporate security personnel and law enforcement agents must learn to obtain forensically sound electronic evidences stored in computers and other electronic devices legally. I would like to define the term digital forensics as follows. The use of scientifically derived and proven methods towards the preservation collection, validation, identification, analysis, interpretation, documentation and presentation of digital evidences derived from digital sources for the purpose of facilitating or furthering the reconstruction of events found to be criminal or helping to anticipate the unauthorized actions shown to be disruptive to planned operations. We have a very big definition but of course it covers every feature of digital forensics. Next the focus is why to investigate. The purpose of investigation varies with different concerns depending on the type of the case whether it is a civil case or a criminal case. Some typical reasons may be exceeding the maximum internet usage limit, inappropriate usage of email, unofficial use of internet email or a personal computer, information theft, security policy or procedure violation, intellectual property infringements and finally tampering of electronic documents. These are all considered to be very important and the evidences, digital evidences play a major role in these cases. Now let's focus on the prerequisites of an effective investigation. Prior to the investigation process, the investigator or the examiner should distinguish the expertise level of the actors involved in the case, such as the police officers or the lawyers. For this purpose, the examiner should have undergone the Department of Enterprise Services, that is in short known as DES training with other sufficient case information such as computer hardware, software operating system for conducting an effective investigation process and to manage the computer forensics in general. Furthermore, the essential resources and the available tools used in acquiring and analyzing the evidences for conducting the investigation must be cross-checked. Now, let's focus on the process models which are very important uh, for computer forensic investigations. Let's see that. When the investigation is conducted, the evidences are stored in a safe place known as the computer forensic lab. This is generally physically a highly secured place which prevents the evidences from being destroyed or corrupted. Some of the main process models that are currently used are the systematic digital forensic investigation model, 
framework for digital investigations the enhanced digital investigation process model and finally an extended model of cyber crime investigations these are all the commonly used rather the most popular models available for cyber crime investigation uh, process now the next to focus is on digital forensic investigation process what is the methodology or the process that is behind the entire show or what are the step by step procedures that are adapted to do this forensic investigation the digital forensic investigation process involves five steps first investigation preparation second seizure and isolation third acquisition fourth examination and analysis fifth and the last one is reporting now let's focus on the investigation preparation investigation preparation phase begins once when the request is received from the person or the law enforcement agencies in this phase the investigation officer collects documents related to the ownership of the electronic gadgets the device model its purpose and information that requester is seeking for in the second stage that is the seizure and isolation it's a very important phase in digital forensics as soon as the investigation officer reaches the crime scene care must be taken to make sure that her or his action does not accidentally modify the evidences the investigation officer needs to apply various techniques for the collection or to recover the evidences from the computers laptops varieties of network devices mobile devices which are involved in the cyber crime third one is acquisition the extraction and imaging of data from the electronic devices is referred to as acquisition this phase deals with the collection of acquiring bitwise copies or images of all media suspected to contain the evidences the type of media is not limited to hard drive or uh, any other thing alone it may be a hard drive it may be a usb device it may be a physical ram cds dvds and sometimes even sd cards images here can be created using two different techniques one is a physical imaging or bit stream imaging the other one is known as a logical imaging or backup the fourth uh, step is examination and analysis this is the next phase in which the collected or recovered evidences are examined as a result of the acquisition phase here the investigator uses various tools and techniques to find the potential evidence as per the case requirements for example in the case of a hard drive the investigator to examine the file system the operating system the partitions of the hard disk files by means of scientific tools they use basically to auto spy forensic tool kit ftk n case etc here again there are two methodologies that are used to find the digital evidences they are the keyword search and file carving the last part of it is reporting the most important the collection of all findings of each phase and the final outcome of the investigation phase mainly depends upon the perfect reporting process so naturally there are certain uh, potential qualities that are attached to this report so a typical report should contain the following information for example the date and time the examination started with short description of the case pictures of the device and the individual components physical condition of the device condition of the device when received sun sun on or off specification of the device such as the make model and the operating system then the procedure adapted for digital forensics of the device with the tools and the technology used for the same data documented during the examination and finally the outcome of statement of opinion